Okay, this little video is for some lady. Somebody asked about melting down solder to make it into a bar or to recycle it. Save all your little bits and pieces. This is just a plain old propane torch that I'm using. And there's some safety things you guys have got to understand. I'm doing this in a cast iron pot or pan that I'm never going to use to cook food in again. Uh, I'm also doing this in a well-ventilated area. Don't do this in a closet. You know, I know you worried about lead and lead fumes. I'm not really going to be boiling this, but I am melting it. So it's probably going to give off some kind of fumes. Uh, God knows what. And also I have a glove. Like a welder's glove. I don't know if a potholder will actually work for this, but you could try it. The idea is to get this stuff to melt. Uh, if you have a gas stove, you can do this on a gas stove also, but I wouldn't recommend necessarily doing it in your kitchen, though stranger things have happened. There may be a little moisture in there also. So, you kind of have to pan it around, and you get it to melt, but you also have to get it to melt in one nice big honking puddle. And it's not going to puddle just because you want it to. You have to keep almost, at least in my case, I'm kind of stirring it with the flame. You would think that it would, you would think that it would melt in a puddle and stay that way, but not really. And you, you're probably going to be wondering, well, what about the dirt and everything? Well, you get this stuff to melt in a nice puddle. And what happens is that anything that's lighter than the solder, like dirt or glass, is going to float to the top. See, I'm keeping it stirred. There's a little piece of glass in there. Now, the thing to remember here is I'm stirring it up with a screwdriver. Something that the solder isn't necessarily going to stick to unless I get flux on that. You see all of the dirt floats on the top of the puddle. The other thing I've also done before this is I made a little mold on my table which you're going to see in a second because I'm going to pour this into it. And this baby is hot. So, this is my little mold. And you don't do this, God forbid don't do this with sandals on. You want closed top shoes, work boots preferably. See, the dirt will stay in the pan. The metal will drip into the mold. See? See that? Let that puppy off. Yeah, see? This is just door stop, window stop. Oh, just about anything. Let's see. Did I get it in there? Yeah. It moves slightly. See? And I just nailed it to the table. With a stop on the end. So that it doesn't run off of the table. You don't want it to run off the table and onto your feet, especially, or onto your shoes. It'll stay liquid till it hits something cooler, like your shoes or your feet. And then you'll do the dance that we don't want to have the dance. So, and you have to let it cool, obviously, like I'm letting it do. And it will take a few minutes to cool. And also you'll find that it'll also pick up all of the... Uh, it'll pick up all of the uh, little indentations you might have in your table. All your nail holes, etc., etc. Okay. It still hasn't quite cooled yet. It'll keep its heat for a few minutes. But in the end, 
and you could make it as wide as you want but I've, I've worked with bar solder and for myself it's almost like trying to solder with a stick of butter so I usually make this about oh, three-eighths of an inch wide, quarter of an inch wide, whatever. It's my fancy. See? And just for the heck of it, just for the hell of it, I'm just going to spray a little water around here so I can pick it up. See, it's still steaming. That's how hot it is. Okay. Yeah, you hear that? That's steam, baby. It's still steaming. It's still hot. It's still hot enough to burn you. And spraying water on my table isn't so bad. It's not like it hasn't had other nasty things on there. Okay. Now, it's still hot enough to burn me if I pick it up with bare hands. But you see... Now I can use that to solder wherever I need to. And it's thin enough that I can get it off onto the iron and not have it be too much trouble. You see how it's seeped up underneath the board, underneath the stop that I had nailed down. That's why you, you don't do this in sandals. Because if, it, if, you're, if it's not tied on the table, you've got a really bad indentation in the table and it runs out and it runs down onto the floor and your feet are there, it's going to hurt. Make no doubt about it. See? So that, and you can use this, you know, you might be able to cast the bodies for butterflies or God knows what, but you have to be able to make your own mold. So, that's it. Glass casting, lead melting, and recasting. And I use that to also, sometimes I have to, say I, leave, I save my... My lead scraps, and I use the same pan to melt down to make uh, weights for lamp bases and things. So, there you go.